Lay off the protective layer that protects the printer from the mechanical damage whilst transporting of it. Protective tape. Take away the tape which holds a carriage. Then plug in the printer. With the help of a screwdriver, uncover a cap that covers cartridges on a printed head. Then uh, start to install this. Move the carriage to the extreme left position. Put the cartridges into the printer. Move the carriage into extreme right position. Install six cartridges into the carriage. Move cartridges till you hear the clock. Move the carriage to the extreme left position. Take the fastening from the installation set. Take off the protective layer. Fasten the fixation near the pointer at the printer. Then fix the pipe for of in supply. Forward this to the left side of the printer. Move the carriage to the extreme left position to check if there is enough length for the pipe. Move the carriage to the extreme right position to check if there is enough length for the pipe. Install the second clip to fix the pipe. After that we clap it. We push a red drop after that the printer is enabled to determine injured cartridges. During the installation of the new cartridges, printer automatically cleans a printing head. In case if after automatic cleaning of the printing head, there is still some air in the ink pipes, please make the cleaning of the printing head once again. Turn off the printer. Check the pipes fixing. There is a sensor on the printer that indicates that the cap is open. Glue the carriage tape on it. Close the printer's cap. Make this now test in order to make it. Click on the extreme right button and switch on the printer. Take off small caps from the cis. On their place we insert air filters. Not using the strength, just putting them into the holes. On each CIS there is a sticker when you can read the main rules of this using. First, do not let the ink level get down the red line. The continuous ink supply system should be on the same level as printer not lower or higher.